Hey guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back or to my channel if you are new. Today's video I am super excited for um, and I'm here to share what I think are some of the best audiobooks that I've read and I feel uniquely qualified to do this um, because I am dyslexic and I only listen to audiobooks. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to share my favorites with you guys and I hope you give them a listen. I'm gonna start with um, general fiction and the first book that I have on my list is very appropriate for this time um, because the TV show just came out and that is Daisy Jones and the Six. This audiobook um, is one of my like all-time favorites, like definitely like top five audiobooks I've ever read um, and it just has a phenomenal cast like each character um has a different like voice actor i'm pretty sure and it's just like extremely well done and yeah it's one of my favorites and kind of in the same vein as that i have the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i also think this one is an amazing audiobook um i don't think it's as good as daisy jones but it is by the same author, so that might be why I think they're better on audio. And they kind of have similar formats in my mind since they're both like being done through interviews. Um, just The Seven Husbands of Evelyn, Evelyn Hugo is done a little bit differently. Um, I still think that it's a really good audiobook. Continuing with general fiction, we have Anxious People, and I love this book so much, and I don't know why I think. It's like a really good audiobook. I just really enjoyed listening to it. Um, I don't know if it's like just a good book and that's why the audiobook is good. Um, but I do think that it is really enjoyable to listen to on audio. And a pro tip from somebody who literally only listens to audiobooks and has listened to 500 plus audiobooks. Um, if you are not connecting with the audiobook, try changing the speed of the reader because sometimes it's too slow, um, sometimes it's too fast. So finding uh, the speed that you listen to audiobooks at definitely makes it way more enjoyable. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, going from there, I'm going to talk about historical fiction slash classics. And I only have two in this category. Um, the first one is a classic that I think is extremely underrated. It's one of my favorite classics. And that is The Scarlet Pimpernel. And this one just has like a really good audiobook. Like I just like the narrator that I found. Um, I'm sure there's like more than one audiobook because usually for classics there is more than one. Um, definitely finding voices that you like listening to is important. So if you're reading classics, definitely try to find the best audiobook since there's usually more than one. But yeah, The Scarlet Pimpernel was really good and it, I think it's a really good listen because it has like kind of a mystery and like a little baby bit of romance and it's just it's a really underrated classic next one i have on my list sorry i keep looking down my list is like over there um is redeeming love and this isn't really like a classic um i would say it's more like historical fiction slash like christian fiction um this book is great and i think the audiobook just like makes it even more like powerful of a story um just when you're like listening to somebody talk it's just it just hits harder sometimes when um the topics are a little bit heavier and memoirs so literally all memoirs that are read by the authors i think that's how you should read their memoir um unless you like hate listening to audiobooks then maybe not um but if you were watching this video you probably want audiobook recommendations so some that i can suggest that are um narrated by the author are i'm glad my mom died it, it by jeanette mccurdy that is a fantastic audiobook and her um reading it just makes it so much more powerful and then recently beyond the wand um is a great audiobook and it also is read by the author and then i think educated might also be read by the author but if it's not i do highly recommend that memoir on audio as well next i want to talk about mysteries um and these besides one are just i think more enjoyable on audio um but I, again i can't give like the best like reading versus like listening to it since i like only listen 
but in my opinion these are some of my favorites out of 500 audiobooks so you know they gotta be good um the first is the truly devious series i think this book the way it's written i think it is a great audiobook um and yeah i don't know there's just something about the narrator too that just like makes it so much more fun to listen to one of my again top five audiobooks of all time is a good girl's guide to murder this book on audio is amazing it's also really cool to have the physical copy in front of you because the physical copy has like um reports that you can see and like you do like get that in audio format but just like seeing it is also really cool but when i'm telling you this audiobook is like perfect it is perfect so we have like the normal narrator but we also have like different people for the different um like people with pip calls on the phone and different recordings it like you hear like the click of like the ringer when she's calling and the recordings like kind of like that fuzzy sound you can also hear that um and it's just it makes the experience just so much more real and you feel like you're investigating with pip which is just the coolest feeling when you're reading a mystery so it's definitely like top tier audiobook of all time like this one i would recommend over reading the physical book and i think that's the difference between some of these is a good girl's got to Mur murder i would recommend both but listening over the normal book just because of that unique experience that you get with the different recordings um the next one for mystery that is more just like the general vibe is the shadow of the wind this book is um a really really interesting like and unique read and it kind of gives me like historical fiction vibes um but i put it in like a mystery category just because um there is like an overlying mystery of um like this cemetery of forgotten books and also like why this particular book that this guy picked out of it um why there's only this copy and what happened to the other copies of the book um if you've never heard of this book it's a great one i don't think i've talked about it on my channel yet but i really enjoy it it's one of my five star reads so i'm gonna move on to young adult and i only have like three but the first one is a series and that is the summer i turned pretty and i put this on my favorite audiobooks because it is read by the cast of the tv show and i don't always love when they do this but i think that they do a great job at like being their characters in the book and i think it's really fun because in the second book we have belly and jeremiah's perspective and then the third belly and conrad's and it's really fun to like hear the actors voices in the book so i recommend that especially if you want to watch the tv show and you haven't read them yet listen to them on audio because then you'll get really familiar with the cast voices and it'll feel really cool to go on to the tv show after the next one i have is better than the movies this is also a ya um i don't know this book is just like so fun and it feels like you're reading a rom-com so why not like listen to the rom-com you know um i just think it makes it like more enjoyable and for ya romance i think sometimes since they are like easier reads it's um really fun to listen to them because it just kind of like puts you back in like your childhood and when you're like 15 16 just makes it really fun and then the last one i have is you've reached sam and this is a sad book it's one of like the only sad books that i've read i think like i read sad books but this is like specifically like a sad book um like a sad tiktok book but i really liked this one and i think it's also because i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly this one also has like the sound effects um in their calls like when she calls um spoiler alert not really spoiler this is in like the first couple chapters i think when she calls her dead boyfriend and she talks to him on the phone it just like the experience is just better on audio in my opinion because you're like getting to hear him and that's like what she's experiencing so super cool so let's let's go on to fantasy um the first book i want to talk about and mention as one of my favorites is these violent delights um i do think this book is maybe not better on audio but definitely i think it can make it more enjoyable because one of my friends i recommended this book to and she just like didn't connect with it 
um, on page. So I would definitely recommend the audiobook. And for some, like, maybe more complicated fantasies, like, I don't think this one is a complicated fantasy, but for some more complicated fantasies, I do think that it's nice to at least, like, read along or just listen to because it just again makes you feel like you're like listening to a movie it's so cool um but yeah these violent delights i de definitely recommend the audiobook it's just it's really a fun time and kind of like getting the characters is really cool and it's dual pov so dual pov audiobooks are the best um i don't think it's a different narrator i could be wrong but i don't think it is but the narrator does a great job like switching back and forth so yeah definitely recommend that one and then the next couple I know are controversial for listening to audiobooks and those are like multi POV books and the first one I put on this list is The Atlas Six. Um, looking back, I made this list a, like, a while ago, but I do think that it's still good to listen to. Um, maybe not like my fave favorite, but I do think that when there's different voices for each character it does help you like relate to each character like differently than just reading it because it can be really confusing to just like see their name and kind of like forget who's talking but in the audiobook with like their distinct voice it's usually helpful to like understand that and going along with that um i have six of crows on this list and i do really like this audiobook and it's just super fun to see like all the different perspectives and hear all of them what I was talking about with more difficult fantasy, I should have said like more lyrical fantasy. Um, I have Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves. These are some of my all time favorite audiobooks. I literally just read them, reread them, and I loved the experience again. I just, there's something about like lyrical fantasy that just makes my heart so happy, and I think that they're really good audiobooks. Okay, and last but not least, I want to talk about my favorite romance audiobooks and the first one I want to mention because I want to spotlight this and if you only get this far into romance I want you to hear this Julia Whalen she is an audiobook narrator she also has two books out um the only one I've read by her is thank you for listening she is such a good audiobook narrator and she's a great author too like thank you for listening was a new five star read and i absolutely loved it like when i found out that it was by the person who read emily henry's books i was like i have to read her book it was amazing she did not disappoint and now i like know her name and will not shut up about her i literally love julia whalen she is amazing she reads all of emily henry's books which is also on my list because of Julia Whalen because she just reads them so well and I just love her voice I love listening to it and she does a fantastic job reading books so literally any book read by Julia Whalen could be on this list because I love her voice so much um but moving on from there um I have funny you should ask this book I don't know like what it was like I just really enjoyed the audiobook book of this um and yeah it's on my list I don't really have anything specific to say but it was really enjoyable when I read it and then I have The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary I just love this audiobook because I love their voices and this is also dual POV so that is super fun to have the two different voices reading the book and it just makes it so much more fun and you feel I feel more connected to characters when it's dual POV and like to narrators it's just really fun to listen to but yeah those are my some of my favorite audiobooks and some that I think you should listen to instead of reading um but yeah let me know what your guys's favorite audiobook is and if you don't listen to audiobooks what your favorite book is so yeah <laughs> bye guys thanks for watching